Hi, I'm Rich. This is my Skoda Octavia VRS. Uh, it's going to be one of the cars in the Jeffel. So I thought, Jeff, well, Jeff's asked me to do a few pictures and stuff, but I thought, you know what? I'll do a little walk around video, give you a feel for the car. So, as I say, Octavia VRS in race blue. It's the best colour, so they tell me. Uh, I think it is. Quite like that colour, to be honest. Looks good. Good colour. Uh, private plate on it. Got to be worth a few hundred quid straight off. Uh, Zenon headlights, dead rare on an Octavia. Uh, only the VRS and the Lauren and Clemens, Clemens, whatever, that have them. Uh, 18 inch wheels, factory standard. Uh, nice and straight and tidy, really. A few scratches and marks on it, as you'd expect. Um, but in general, quite a presentable car. Factory tints, I think. Uh, not too dark, but they look the part. Got Team Heco uh, wind deflectors on, just about see. Again, adds to the look uh, inside. Generally, not too bad. Pretty good, especially for a Skoda. Interiors tend to wear on these, but this isn't bad. Driver seat's got a bit of wear on it, as you would expect. Um, fancy radio, forgotten, forgotten what, what it's called. It's a Skoda one. It's got a sat nav in it, but I haven't got a disc for it. So, sat nav's not going to work. Just use Google Maps. Better anyway, to be honest. Uh, like I say, factory tints, steering wheel in there, that's not going with the car, that's mine. Don't know why it's in there. Uh, but yeah, back seat's quite tidy. Generally, like I say, nice tidy car. Uh, somebody at some point has uh, taken some care of it. Um, big sporty exhaust on it, got a sports cat, goes all the way to the front. Makes quite a lot of noise if I'm honest with you, Mrs doesn't like it very much. Uh, boots, all right. Good size boot on it, actually. They are very, very practical. Uh, it's got this very attractive mat, which is, well, it's very useful anyway. Um, but yeah, good size boot. You get a lot of crap in there. I know I have done. Um, yeah. So walking around this side again, nothing major to report, really. A few scratches and stuff, but it's straight and tidy. Uh, again, all oh, looks alright really. Bit of dog hair on there. But you know, dogs are hairy. And I've got a dog, so. So, yeah, driver's side, here we go. Um, they all seem to go there for some reason. This one is no exception. Um, yeah, a bit of driver's seat wear going on. But you know, she's done 163,000 miles. So, <coughs> what do you expect? There you go. That will go up a little bit. I'm using it. Um, yeah, black headlining, sporty, sunroof, very good. Uh, it's got parking sensors, it's got Xenons, like I say, cruise control. Uh, the aircon isn't particularly cold, but it all works. Um, Stereo is alright, like I say, quite nice. Six speed box, Manuel. Um, yeah, nothing to report really. Nice sporty steering wheel. Not in bad nick. Where's the key? Let's see if I get it to start. There we go. Alright. So yeah, don't know if you can hear the exhaust. It is a bit noisy, but it's not too bad. But you can hear the, uh, hear the air intake sucking in the air. More of that in a minute. Anyway, let's turn that off. Let's pop the bonnet so you can get a look under there. <coughs> yeah, 18 inch wheels again. Uh, front parking sensors as well, as rear. So that's nice. They work most of the time. There we go. Big Ram Air induction kit there. Goes all the way around. No engine cover because the engine cover doesn't fit with this on. But these are an expensive piece of kit, they're like 250 quid or something. Um, like I said, it's got Ford's uh, diverter valve spacer on the turbo, so it goes between every gear change. Which is funny for a while, 
but Mrs. hates it. In fact, there's not much the Mrs. does like about this car, if I'm honest with you, apart from the colour. Um, so yeah, TFSI engine, uh, yeah, generally, there you go, this is the Skoda, solid choice for the Jeffel I believe, and um, any potential winner will hopefully be fairly chuffed with it, so yeah, Skoda, excellent car, oh, I did forget to mention, stage 2 remap, so in the region of 260 horsepower, pretty quick, lots of fun. So uh, yeah, if you win the Jeffel, I suggest you pick this because it's great. Okay, cool. Take care.